Hey, hi there, Taurus. Welcome, and thank you for tuning into my channel to watch your weekend card reading for October 5th to the 7th. Remember, take only what resonates with you. General energies can sometimes meld into the other weeks. I sure hope you check out the description box below. I would really love to hear feedback from you guys on how these readings apply to you. I really love hearing that feedback. I really do. Thank you so much for inspiring me. Okay, Taurus, off camera, to save time, I have meditated over, blessed, and shuffled these cards just for you. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere of the month. It's the basis of the matter. It's the background. The Page of Swords, Taurus. This is air energy. Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Could be a young person. The Page of Swords. This is vigilance. It could be news. This news would be about truth and justice. There could be some nervousness and anxiety and spying. It's because someone needs to collect information. They're looking for the truth. There could be some news coming of maybe some difficulties. But you'll need to analyze and strategize to confront someone. There may be someone around you that's behaving in a risky manner. Could be the overconfidence or ignorance of youth. Because this could cause strife and rumors and gossip. There may be someone around you that's deceitful. But there's some investigation going on and maybe even some risky communication. This person, they're seeking truth and justice above all else. It's not that they're malicious on purpose, but if anyone gets in the way, they will be trampled underfoot. This person can be extremely strong-willed, cold and calculating. They take risks to get closer to the truth. And there could be some news that will alert you to the truth. Your second card, it's the energy crossing over your path. This is the immediate future. The Two of Wands, Taurus. The rest of your reading is all fire energy. The Two of Wands. This is something you've started now and you're awaiting re results. It has to do with your future possibilities. There's restlessness and you're contemplating future action. There's longing and creative tension. Maybe a longing to explore, but, you're, but you now have a new outlook. You're deciding the next move. You're planning. It may be a planning for a desire for traveling, but change is in the air and you should pursue your desire and then wait for your decision to mature. As you see this person, he stands on castle walls and the two wands are placed firmly. They symbolize what has already been achieved and the globe is future possibilities. He is deciding and planning on what he should do. Their impulses that complement or work against each other this success depends on your will and drive to stay the course because you're being torn between security and risk. The third card, and this is how it affects you, the King of Wands. Air energy, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, the King of Wands. This is a mature man of vision he could be bringing good news. Maybe about a promotion or an inheritance. This person is loyal, they're honest, they're friendly, they're passionate. They're also responsible and sometimes impatient or too hasty. This person brings a strong positive influence to you. This is very good news to further goals. This person is charming, and they're driven. They'll inspire you. This tells you to use self-determination. This is 
a person, they're a master at communication. They use their wit and charm. They're warm and they're generous, and they have a really good sense of humor. He could persuade, persuade anyone to buy anything or do anything, like even an Eskimo to buy ice. It's because he's so amusing and optimistic, but he does dislike detail, and his enthusiasm is curbed by the daily realities of life. Your fourth card. This is the future. It's the outcome. It's the results and the advice. The Ace of Wands, fire energy, a new beginning, a rush of desire, a new will. The Ace of Wands, Taurus. This is ignition. It's a beginning of enterprise, business or arts or finance. It's high passion. It's high passion in relationships. Could be intimacy could be conception or a birth. This is being open for a new way of hard times, a new way out of a bad situation. This is a spark of inspiration and it is a gift from life. Is it a very positive new beginning? You're going to feel passion about it and excitement and you're going to get to have some fun. So seize the day because the answer is in the doing. Your fourth card, or fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. It's the underlying issue. This is what's unseen. The four of wands, Taurus, fire energy. The t four of wands. This is celebration and good times. This could be a holiday coming a very relaxing time. This card tells of prosperity, arrival and rejoicing. You're going to be triumphant and liberated and sociable. And you're going to be reaching a milestone, maybe graduating. Be taking time to honor your hard work. It's reaping rewards. You're going to get to be maybe moving putting down some roots. Thank you so much, Taurus. Please leave me comments. It helps me tune into your future readings. Well, I hope your month is full of wonderful adventures. Now remember, what goes around comes around. So I'm keeping it positive. Love and light. Thank you, guys.